This is the fifth uh, video in a series on the custom chart modifier API in SciChart and what we're going to be discussing today is enabling data point editing. So I've created a modifier today which allows you to mouse down on a series and then drag its data points in the vertical direction like this. Um, so this edits the underlying data and then now as I zoom and pan the chart the uh, data persists like so. If you haven't seen it already, I would suggest taking a look at our knowledge base. Go to uh, support.sidechart.com and click on knowledge base. Click on tutorials and down here you'll see the um, chart modifiers which are provided by Sidechart. An overview of the chart modifier API including the most important methods and properties and then the first four parts of the series which are um, a custom rollover, custom zoom pan, a selecting and dragging a series and custom legend data sources. Also all of our tutorials are on YouTube so we are creating videos for each of these and you can have a look at the videos as well as read the articles. So let's have a look at the code. How do we edit data points in SciChart? Well, what we've done first of all is we've created a chart modifier which inherits series selection modifier. All of the other modifiers have inherited chart modifier base, but this time what we want to do is we want to annex some of the functionality of the series selection modifier so that when you mouse down on a series, the series is selected. So how do we do this? First of all, we override on modifier mouse down and we deliberately call mouse up in the base class because the series selection modifier handles selection in the mouse up. The result of this is a series will be selected or not so if there is a series selected we try to get it and if not we simply return. Once there is a series selected we perform a hit test on it so the base renderable series hit test method accepts a mouse point and a radius and some flags and it returns a hit test info struct. This structure contains information about the hit test which has just occurred, such as is hit, which is true if the mouse was directly over a data point, um, and also some other information such as the x value, y value, and the location of the point. So the first thing that we do is we try to find the index of the data series that was hit. There are two ways of doing this. We can either use selected series data series find index using the hit test x value, or we can actually get this information directly from hit test info. Hit test info has a property called data series index, which you can get this value, but it doesn't hurt to know about the find index API too. The next thing we do is we store information about the point being edited. So we store the hit test info struct, the index to the data series and the data series itself. Finally, we add a marker to the modifier surface at the mouse location. If you recall from previous videos, the modifier surface is a canvas which exists inside the border of the main side chart surface. So wherever you see grid lines, the modifier surface exists over the top. It's this surface which has um, the ability to place UI elements such as lines, markers, um, even the rectangle for the rubber band is placed here. And what we do is when you select a data point we're placing a white semi-transparent ellipse to show you that you are editing a point. The next thing we do is in modifier mouse move we say is there a point being edited? If not we simply return. However, if there is, what we need to do is we need to compute how far the mouse has moved in, since the last mouse move. So we have our current mouse point and we have our last mouse point and we use the coordinate calculator API which exists on an axis in order to convert the mouse point into a data value. You can find more information about our coordinate calculator API back at our knowledge base. So again, if you go to knowledge base tutorials and there is a article here on converting pixel to data coordinates which talks more about this API. Next up we've got our current mouse point and we've got our last mouse point so we can we convert these to the current y value and the last y value then we compute a delta so this is how far in y we have moved the mouse since the last mouse move operation. All we need to do next is we need to position our marker and we do this using the XP 
pixel coordinate of the hit test info we captured in mouse down. So this is the x pixel coordinate at the very start of the operation and the current y coordinate. And we offset our data series. So the offset method simply gets the series y values and we're casting to double so we're assuming that ty is a double and we are offsetting in y and then we're updating the series y value. Now because we've updated the list directly without um, without calling the series append update remove methods what we have to do is we have to tell the parent surface to redraw itself so we do that here by calling series invalidate parent surface but you could just as easily do um, parent surface dot invalidate element by calling through the base class uh, which has access to the parent surface. Finally what we do is in modifier mouse up we clear all of our flags and we remove our ellipse from the modifier surface and we select all. It's in, uh, deselect all. It's important to note that deselect all has been made protected virtual in build 3802 of SciChart. So you can find more about our uh, nightly builds by heading over to knowledge base tutorials and down here there is an article saying getting nightly builds with NuGet and this shows you how to integrate our nightly builds to your uh, application or you can download them here so if you click on this link here you can get straight to our NuGet server and the build you need is 4802 and you can download the package and unzip it here so putting it all together that is how you create a series selection modifier it's, um, it's pretty simple, we're talking about a hundred lines of code uh, that enables you to click and edit a single point in the Y direction only. Some limitations of this, it only works on a single data point, it'll only work for a single Y axis, however it wouldn't be difficult to extend this at all. Um, some ideas for you, if you wanted to select a group of points, what you could do is you could uh, capture mouse down and then mouse move and then mouse up drawing a rectangle like this and perform a hit test on all the series to find out what data points exist inside the left, right, top and bottom edges of this rectangle. And with those you can place markers on the data points and you can store the hit test infos and then allow them all to be dragged or edited on subsequent mouse moves. Some other ideas for you are in the code here if you see the y-axis um, you could iterate over many y-axis or even have an axis ID dependency property up at the top here and use that to determine which y-axis you are going to operate on. So I hope that's a useful extension to our chart modifier API series. If you have any questions or would like some hints or tips on how to extend this please feel free to contact us.